What is going on YouTube? It is Bully bringing out a brand new video for you guys today. Now, today's video, I gotta put you on game once again. In today's video, we'll be talking about whip punishing. Whip punishing is one of those things that fundamentals to where it separates the news from the pros, the pros from the experts, etc. So in this video, we'll be giving you advice, giving you key tips on how to actually whip punish inside the game. If you are a noob, I'm expecting you to be like, whip punish, huh? Whip punishing is not when you just block and you just hold a button and then they just press a slow button and you just hit them back that is not with punishing with punishing have a key term in it that's whiffing literally whiffing that that when somebody presses a certain button honestly let me turn on the frames the frame me that when somebody press a certain button and within a recovery frames you're able to slap them back they might be like how you do that i gotta let y'all know now i'm gonna be giving you an example of with punishing oh uh, i'm gonna have ken Basically, well, I think I already have Ken doing something, do I? Oh, no, I don't. So I'm going to have Ken throw out a few options, right? I'm going to have him throw out right hook, right? Let's, let's have him throw out right hook. Now, what's him throwing out right hook, right? This is not a whiff punish. Doing that and then hit it, that's not, that's not a whiff punish. A whiff punish is where you're dancing outside of their range. So you're going to see that the right hook, you got to dance outside the range. You see, I'm outside the range, and then I hit with my move. So, so let's go in the beginning, right? Oh, in the middle. You see, I says punish counter. That's a whip punish. Staying out of the range, or dance out of a range of a certain move, and then soon, before that move even fully go back, you hit with your own move. Bow, etc. Right? Now, everything comes in different ways and forms, and what I mean by that is like people sometimes get a whip punish off of like the crouch and medium, right? Wow, or oh, they go for mix up for it. Some people frames or certain combos is actually able to be hit if you do have a punish counter or counter hit. So I recommend you to practice this throwing out a lot of certain moves or a lot of you know things. Uh another matchup that I do recommend you to also live that I have been learning a lot. I just need to play a, a good Dalsum, but it is Dalsum because whip punishing plays a heavy part in terms of just beating him. And as long as you have good whiff punishing or just have more fairly more just matchup knowledge on him, you're actually going to be punished in Dallas some order. Now, one of the main problems that a lot of people will be having with whiff punishing is, like I said, dancing outside of ranges. You need to know the ranges outside your opponent. Like, you should know that this is not going to hit full screen. This button, that button, that button, that button. That's going to step in a little bit. That could possibly hit, but that's only if I'm like zone one, zone two ish. Uh, sweeps don't really hit. See, not that far. I could scoot up. It's like just barely just knowing ranges now when you know or have a good idea of rages you already know you could dance back and forth you could block you could, you could move forward move forward move back hit him with a move you you have a lot of buttons you need to also learn your buttons know your buttons and your ranges if you know for a fact that, that if they was to throw out a certain button like this you want to be able to counter it don't don't be saying that like a me head right so let me let me show you this right yeah what's good with the ranges uh 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 if you wait, if you, yo, honestly, I might just have him block. I might just have him block. Boom, boom, boom. You see, boom, boom. Just know your ranges. I could go for bow. You gotta know what moves are your slowest moves, what moves are your fastest moves, what moves you can punish with. That just all comes with lab and time. The time and lab and frames, lab and experience, you know, just everything is just self explanatory. This is a video that y'all do have to pay attention to because if y'all don't, y'all will be getting whip punished and y'all will be getting slaughtered. On my next video, now that I will be telling y'all more about spacing and staying out of ranges, dancing inside of ranges, etc. But other than that, make sure you leave a like, off for new. I'll see you in the next one. i see you in the next video. Game is game. That's all I gotta say. I'm out. Got a peace.